Hi everyone and welcome back to the Acne channel. My name is Lavinia Rasanda and today I'm going to be telling you all about the Banish Starter Kit. We're going to be going through all the products in the kit, what they all do and how to use them all. So as you can see right now, I am having some flare-ups on my face. It's not a good skin week for sure, but you know what? Acne happens and oftentimes with my type of acne where it is more hormonal based, whenever I get really stressed throughout my week, I tend to get these flare-ups. Now, you know, I'm sticking to my skincare routine to make sure that I can calm these breakouts down ASAP. And I thought I would talk about the starter kit today because a lot of the products in here not only help with acne, but with acne scars as well and I find now in the healing process of these spots I do have to know how to treat the pigmentation so that it can go away quicker. So I'm going to talk about every single product that is within the starter kit, what it does, what it's good for, and how to use it. So if you want to see all of that just keep on watching. So first off, what is the starter kit? It's basically a collection by Banish to really give you everything that you would need to start treating your acne and acne scars all together in one kit. And this can be very easy because then you get all the products in one and you kind of know where to start. Now this kit does retail currently for $195 and it is originally priced at $263. You're saving 25% by saving that $68 by getting the kit now. And this is really the ultimate skincare kit for anyone who combats acne, um, acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, breakouts, post-inflammatory pigmentation, scarring from acne, and all of those lovely things that come along with being an acne warrior. So let me start talking a little bit about me and my acne journey so that you guys can kind of relate and see why I'm even talking about this kit in the first place. So I started getting acne around the age of 13 and I am now 20. So um, I've had seven years of dealing with acne and trying out basically every treatment out there. And and what made me really start getting into skincare was seeing those results and learning more about my skin. And even though my skin is not perfect, um, reminder, perfect skin does not exist. We can use skincare to educate ourselves, to understand our skin better, and to have like a self-care routine within our skincare. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's normal to still get acne here and there due to genetics, diet, sleep, hormones, there are many, many different reasons, but we can sometimes use skincare to help us out a little bit and to help treat our skin. I am definitely very acne prone. As you guys can see, when I have, um, when my hormones start going crazy, this is when I break out and it's usually stress related and I do have very dry sensitive skin as well. So a lot of products tend to sensitize my skin. So I do have to be careful with that. And I am very scar prone too. So my skin is very fair and it does scar very easily I find. So I do often like to find products that can work for my dry sensitive skin, but also work effectively to treat my acne and acne scars. So is this kit right for you? This kit is suitable for all skin types, even for dry and sensitive skin like mine. And I do appreciate this because we do have some really great effective ingredients in here, which I will get into later on in this video. But at the same time, they are not too sensitizing for the skin. And as long as you follow the instructions and do things correctly and don't overuse these products and use them as stated, then you should not experience really any great sensitivity with these. Of course, do your regular patch test 24 hours before using the product to make sure you don't have any allergies. And if you are someone who is looking to reduce current and past dark spots or acne marks, this kit is definitely for you. It can also help with improving uneven pigmentation, uneven skin texture, and really just smoothing out the appearance of your skin. The products within this kit also help with collagen production and improving the elasticity within your skin to make your skin appear more firm, as well as reducing the appearance of fine lines. All right, so let's actually get to what is in this kit. Everything in this kit does come in a banished bag. I do not know where I put that because I have been using this kit for a long time now. So I just keep the products within my regular skin routine. But if you do a lot of traveling or like to keep everything in one place, that bag is really, really useful. But other than the bag, the first product in the kit is the banished oil. This is what this looks like right here. And as you can see, it's just a little dropper bottle. 
boom and it comes with a clear oil inside now what is this magical banish oil so this is a vitamin c serum that is made from the most potent form of vitamin c which is also known as l-ascorbic acid vitamin c can be a great ingredient to help brighten the skin and help with hyperpigmentation and dark spots so with that it can really help with lightening up those acne marks and the pigmentation left behind from acne when it heals and it can do this more effectively than other formulas since it does have a potent amount of vitamin C in here. And this includes 99.9 .9 pure grade L-ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. We also have some great ingredients such as glycerin, vitamin E, rosehip oil, as well as ferulic acid in here and aloe leaf juice, which are great ingredients for healing the skin and helping kind of support your skin while healing those scars. Next product within the kit is the Banisher 2.0. But this right here is a micro needling tool. And basically it just has this handle and you take off the cap and then it has the bristles right there on the because these are very very small bristles this is a micro needling stamp tool if you do not know what micro needling is pause this video and go check out our full video on micro needling we've done a couple here talking about what micro needling is the science behind it and even a video comparing in office micro needling treatments versus these at home micro needling treatments but in short what micro needling does is it causes a small wound to the skin to kind of tell your body oh this part of the skin needs healing which can in turn promote that collagen production and really accelerate that healing process for that portion of the skin that you micro needled and this can help with scarring and this is a micro needling tool that you can use from the comfort of your home I personally really enjoyed this micro needling tool in particular because it is that stamp form so you just stamp it into the skin the reason I prefer this instead of other at-home devices is because a lot of them are rollers and I personally think that rollers can cause some damage to the skin because you are rolling back and forth you can definitely risk pushing too hard with this or not having even distributed coverage and you can definitely make the situation worse by using one of those at home whereas these stamps they do distribute the pressure evenly on the skin and I find it easier to use and less risk of damaging your skin skin and actually having good results with this. And overall, because of that collagen production I talked about and kind of promoting your skin to focus on that part to heal it faster, this can really help with hyperpigmentation and scarring and kind of rebuilding that skin and accelerating that cell turnover. This one right here does feature 24K gold plated titanium bristles. But overall, this is the next tool that comes in the kit. And the reason being is because there has been research done on vitamin C and microneedling together to create like the perfect little remedy for acne scars and pigmentation. So using these together can be very, very effective since they both uh, work to promote the same thing, that collagen production, brightening up the skin, cell turnover, all of that good stuff. Next product in the kit is definitely one of my favorites and that is the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. Especially around Halloween time, this is definitely one of my favorite masks. As you can see, it is orange and it looks like pumpkin pie. And it smells like pumpkin pie too so every time i use it i just want to eat it it smells so good it's definitely in that fall season for sure now this right here is an aha and bha exfoliating mask and it's definitely one of my favorites i personally really like this because it helps exfoliate my skin gently but effectively and also helps me combat that acne i have and some of the acne scars as well what this can do is help remove dead skin cells sitting on top of the skin and with AHAs they really help exfoliate that top layer of the skin. We have glycolic acid in here and that can even help with acne scars as it's going to exfoliate over time and help with the pigmentation and resurfacing the skin to really improve the texture and tone of your skin. And then we also do have BHAs in here which have the ability to go deeper within the skin to help with breakouts, blackheads, and all of that. And overall I think this is such a good blend of great exfoliating ingredients and my skin loves this it's not too sensitizing but it keeps my dry skin in check so i really enjoy this and it's definitely one of my favorite products in the kit moving on we have the banish fighter gel and this is really going to be your main acne fighting product in this kit now this is basically a clear gel that can help with acne and you can really use this as a spot treatment or put it on a greater area of the skin it's a very lightweight formula so if you have acne this can be really helpful because with acne comes that redness irritation and even sensitivity and if you have eczema or rosacea and also struggle with acne this can actually be really helpful 
and I find that this is a perfect spot treatment for me because it can combat my acne but it doesn't dry out my skin or sensitize my skin and it's not too harsh either and this is actually one of the very few products that has an essential oil in it this has peppermint essential oil but I haven't found that it's irritated my skin at all and sometimes essential oils can do that that is lower on the ingredient list but I just thought I would point it out for you guys but the main thing I really like in here is the Camilla Sinesis leaf extract which is basically organic green tea because that really helps calm my skin and help with my irritation and sensitivity and the last product contained within the kit is the banish vitamin c cream now this is basically what it sounds like it is a form of vitamin c but in a moisturizer cream rather than an oil and this is what this looks like right here so this is a skin repairing cream with 20 percent vitamin c and it has a very lightweight non-greasy feel to the skin and it actually keeps my skin really moisturized i actually really enjoy this one either at night or during the day too it is a very nice formula and we do have some other ingredients i love in here like willow bark extract which is basically salicylic acid and some great extracts as well as vitamin e so this is definitely a product i really enjoy and a great way for me to incorporate vitamin c into my routine through a moisturizer now i do like that the vitamin c products are enclosed in dark containers because that makes sure that light won't get to them as easily and they will last longer and, and not oxidize as fast i also like keeping some of these in my skincare fridge be because then when i apply them in the morning they're nice and cooling and they can help with the puffing too so those are all the products that are included within the starter kit now of course you can buy all of these products individually but if you are interested in a thorough routine i would recommend just going for the kit because these are some amazing products so now let's get into how to actually use these so i'm gonna start off with the pumpkin enzyme mask so usually i would use a bunch of these products on different days like for example if i'm using the mask today i wouldn't micro needle for a couple days for video purposes i'm going to use the mask on certain areas of my face and then the micro needling on other parts to show you guys how to use them but i don't like to use too much exfoliating and micro needling are both you know processes that can uh, be a little irritating to the skin so i don't want to do too much but i just take some of the mask you can use like a mask brush or something but i'm just gonna use my finger and basically you just need a thin layer of this and a little bit goes a long way there we go so you can use this up to three times a week, I would say, if your skin is comfortable with it. But, you know, start off slow, see what your skin feels about it. And you just leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to let this half of my face have that nice exfoliation treatment. And then I will go rinse it off and come right back. All right, so I just finished washing off the mask and I already put the Banisher 2.0 in the rubbing alcohol. You just fill up the cap to the little fill line and then boom, there you go. So now I'm going to take this out and I'm just gonna let that air dry for like about five minutes here. So while I'm doing that, let's keep working with this side of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the vitamin C cream this has a bit of a thicker consistency to it when it's actually like in the jar a little bit of a clay feeling to it but once you kind of warm it up and rub it in it applies really nicely moisturizes my skin really really well and it absorbs pretty fast too but it actually keeps me feeling moisturized so i do really enjoy this cream I love using this all the time. And on top of that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the fighter gel. I'm going to use this as a spot treatment. So what I kind of do is take, and once I get a bit on there, I just go ahead and use it as a spot treatment on my breakouts. It's really not drying. It has a little bit of that cooling minty sensation to it. So it's kind of definitely an interesting serum, but you can use this kind of all over a greater area or use it more as a spot treatment. So now that my Banisher 2.0 has dried and has been sanitized, you, you want to make sure that you're sanitizing this before and after use because if you think about it, you're inserting little needles into your face. So you do not want to be contaminating your pores. So please, please, please use this correctly and sanitize. I'm going to grab a mirror here. And basically what you do with this, I'm just going to show you. So you would pick a spot where you have some scarring. You don't want to use this over any active. So I'm not going to use it over this pimple here or this one on my chin. I'm going to target it towards these scars I have right here. So basically you would start by picking out the scar area and you're going to press evenly for a few seconds onto the area. Then you're going to lift, spin it 90 degrees and press the area again. 
You're gonna do the same thing, turn 90 degrees, press about five times, turn. And this way with the turning, you're really making sure you're getting every part of that spot to effectively treat it. You will see a little bit of redness come up. This usually goes down within like overnight for me, uh, but it can take like up to just a couple, but it can take just like up to an hour for you. For me, I, I usually try to just kind of leave my skin for the rest of the night and um, not apply like any makeup or other skincare on top. So, and it's not painful. It just feels like a little prick, kind of like a cat's lick. And I would not recommend doing this more than once a week. So I'm really just gonna treat that area right there. And then I'm going to place my microneedling tool back into the alcohol. Now you wanna take the Banish Oil, which is the first product we talked about, and you're gonna apply a few drops of this right after the microneedling treatment to help it really work together and replenish your skin and really start the healing process. So I just kinda like to pat this in, not rub too hard the skin is sensitive and I like using this oil more at night just because it is a little bit more heavy and I usually wear makeup during the day so I don't like to have that oil underneath and boom there you have it there's my half and half skincare routine obviously I would not really do it like this um, in a regular routine I would use the mask and the vitamin C cream and fighter gel you know in my usual routine using the mask every few days and then once a week I would pick a night where I would use the micro needling tool and the banish oil but that is all on this starter kit video guys I hope you enjoyed and found it informative and helpful if you have any questions that I did not cover in this video make sure to leave them down below in the comments if you you did enjoy make sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also turn on our post notifications and if you want to see really this kit in like a full progress video i did do a four month trial with it on my channel at lavinia Sonda here on youtube hope you are having a fantastic day whenever you're watching and we'll see you in the next video bye